Aries, this is your February reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you. It's completely free, and then you'll get notified when I upload all things Aries. Also, Mercury retrograde really affected me last week, and I just want to say thank you to those who were extremely patient with me with trying to upload my content. I had the videos done, but technology was not working for me last week, so just thank you for that. I appreciate your patience. Pull some oracle cards. We'll hop right into your tarot reading. <clears throat> joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. This card has come out a lot this week already. Vast vistas. Expand your horizons. Mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you. I think you should probably read, look at the Taurus reading this week. Two of those cards were in it already. And what you're not seeing is overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. Okay. I think three of those cards were actually in the Taurus reading, so I feel like you should probably go check that out. I'm feeling like there's something new. You're, like, leveling up vibrationally. You're... There, I feel patience and calm and joy with, with the cards that have been laid so far. So I'll lay the tarot cards down and then I'll go over them. Ten of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Emperor, this is you, Aries. This is Pisces. High Priestess, Two of Cups. Strength. And the overall energy is... The Ace of Wands. So I'm seeing that your happiness, this joy and delight card, opening your heart to joy, it's almost like you've reached this point in your life when like just certain things don't matter anymore. It's like every so many years you look at stuff and you're like, why am I still even worried about that? That happened, you know, how many years ago? How many decades ago? And it's like you're looking at this in a new perspective. You're seeing things completely different than you've seen them before. It's like you're like, I'm holding on to this that happened when I was like five and I'm 36. You know, I know several people that they'll sit there and, you know, they're in their almost 50s and they sit there and they talk about stuff that happened when they were a teenager or in their 20s and they act like, you know, it was just such a defining moment and it was like, it was petty stuff that happened and they sit there and they hold on to it and they still hold on to those things and it's like, is that who you want to be for the rest of your life? And I feel like that's what's actually happening to you. And while this is not, I don't necessarily feel like this is about financial well-being. I feel like this is more about stability and groundedness and relationships with people externally and how you handle them. I feel like you're seeing things in a new light when it comes to forgiveness, when it comes to forgetting, when it comes to um, release, releasing people's ties to you. <clears throat> I feel like you've been holding on to things that were not serving you in any way, shape, or form. And I feel like you're going to try something new. It's like you're going to see things in a totally new perspective. You're going to take control and become stable in your life. Normally, this card without the Empress is a dictator and, and a control freak. And, and I do feel like you might be a little bit of a control freak when it comes to... Um, when it comes to those situations, I feel like you're realizing that you're trying to sit here and change the past and you can't change the past. And then you look at it from a different perspective and you're like, I was really mad about that. I was really upset about that. I was really angry about that. Like, really? And so it's like, you might find friends that are like, why are you even worried about something like that when you have all of this to be happy about? Like that, you're concerned with something that happened, you know, 10, 15 years ago when you have this whole new beginning, this whole new direction. It's like you're looking at this and you're trying something completely new. And I do feel like there is somebody that comes in love-wise because you do, you do release this. You do just let it go. 
it's like you're see you're seeing things as black and white and you're realizing that there really isn't black and white there is gray in situations in gray in relationships and as long as you are who you are and as long as those people are who they are you know it's like it's almost like you might have been um like your expectations of like per perfection when it comes to people are up here and that's not how you know people are not perfect they're going to make mistakes but as long as they sit there and you realize like oh you know they never intended for this to happen that wasn't their fault they didn't mean to do this because you have in the past held on to those and that has really affected relationships and so because you held on to the expectation that people are supposed to be perfect whenever they did mess up it was like there was no coming back from that there was no coming back from you know human error or misunderstandings and it's like you're seeing that this was this was like you self-sabotaging yourself this was like you lying to yourself and it was like because you held yourself to such a high standard and you were never going to be able to achieve that type of perfection that you were trying to hold other people to it and it's just not possible you know i feel like you are becoming stronger and getting over this there's a lot of fire energy here I f it, this is Sagittarius, that's Leo, and that's Aries. So, like, there's a lot of fire energy here. And I feel like you're moving into, you're moving from the fire into the water. And it's like you're calming yourself down, you're cooling yourself down. You're taking this new beginning and overcoming obstacles. You're becoming extremely clear and concise and um, grounded. There was a lot of... Um, like this, you're not even seeing that you're overcoming it. It's like just this, this perception, this change in one, one thing in your life. It changes your entire world that, that you're able to change the actions that you take, the things that you think, the way that you do things and the way that you feel about yourself even. Okay, Aries, this is what I have for you. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you. Then you'll get notified all things Aries. It's completely free, and I upload Aries readings every single week. Also, a couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the title resonates for you, I highly recommend you check them out, and I'll see you over there.